builds up a map. So you could imagine this, you know, to navigate this robot needs to know where it is in space, where obstacles are, so it doesn't run into things. Um, and then also this map is something that it can ship back to an operator to help an operator understand what the space is, where the robot is going. Right? So that's, that's the big payoff, is we remove the human from the vehicle so that uh, it's safer for the human. Okay. So How far away is the human from the machine? This, so this depends on the quality of the network connection. So we've actually done some uh, experiments like across the country if we have a good network connection. But as you can imagine, uh, setting up a good network is a difficult thing for the Army. So um, we partner with some of our colleagues in the laboratory who look at how to set up good networks. Um, right now, we're just running it over sort of a basic Wi-Fi um, for this demonstration. But you know, it's sort of whatever the networking equipment equipment can support and that is something that is very important for uh, autonomous robots. My own background, I'm a software developer of eight years. I initially started in game design and game development and I still do that while I'm here in the Army. Uh, you know, so when I was approaching the idea of creating an app for the Army, you know, I thought to myself, you know, let's approach this as if I'm going to actually try to sell it to the Army but not actually sell it to them. You know, and we're going to make something from the ground up. I'm going to look to the soldiers to my left and to my right hey, if you had an application, what would you do with it? What would you actually want in there? And you know, we've seen a lot of success from just hearing the ideas from people. Uh, a perfect example, uh, my S1 shop local to my brigade said, you know, darn, if there was just some kind of interface where I could have appointments, you know, and, and maybe I could tell people like, hey, these are the hours if you want a new ID card. Hey, that's an easy software feature I could tack on there, you know? And, and this, is, this is just a small stepping stone you know, for us to, to take things into our own hands and essentially come up with ideas from scratch and then implement them throughout our division. You know, that, to me, this is the first step in many through EagleWorks to expand how the Army looks at software and software solutions in general. 